welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today is hopefully going to be pretty short. We're going to run through some of my favorite paper planning supplies. So just some of my favorite items that are not planners but have to do with paper and planning or journaling. Okay, starting number one in no particular order, we have the Ashley Shelley Monthly a calendar notebook. This is a stapled, not sewn, notebook by Ashley Shelley. It is the 2018 calendar year and I use this Ollie clip, which I really like for certain things, to hold open to my day, or sorry, my month. But what I love about this book is you have a yearly overview, you have holidays list, then you go right into January, then you have a two-page spread of a dot grid, then you go right into February, you have another two-page note spread, March, then another two-page note spread, April, then another two-page note spread, and you get the point. I love this because it's small, it's not like an eight and a half by 11, this is eight inches by five inches. So it is very small and it is an easy way for me to pre-plan all my big events in my months. I have always done this on my big um, desk calendar that hangs on the wall in front of my desk and that is an inkwell press right now. It's a desk pad wall calendar that you can get at Office Max, Office Depot. I love that desk pad wall calendar and I have videos on it. But when it comes to pre-planning way ahead, Every single time I needed to write down the big events way ahead and look at stuff, I had to pull it off the wall. It's just on little command hooks, so not a big deal, but I had to get it off the wall. And then my desk is small in the kitchen, and it's usually covered in a planner and other things. So then I'd have to like take it to the kitchen table to flip through it and to add things to it or take things off. This way, I do not add anything to that big wall calendar until we get to that month. Um, so that's my new plan since I got this little book and it has worked amazingly well. I love that I can flip through this book easily to add, change things, white things out, and that I'm not taking the big desk pad off the wall for all my pre-planning. For some reason, I find it easier to pre-plan in a small book that is all months versus planning in my weekly planner where the weeks are interspersed in the months. So this is kind of like what I would call like, I don't know, my golden book. Like this, everything goes by this. Everything big in here goes in my phone also. So I love this little book because it's small. It does give you that one page in between for notes, but not too much. I do wish that the pages were just black and white so that I could add my monthly colors as I like to do and that the aqua and the purple wouldn't interfere. But I love the quality of her paper. I love the way this book is designed. And I love how it's lined because it helps me write neater. I'm not a very neat planner and having these lines on here helps me. And so maybe someday she'll make a black and white version. But I am happy with this one until then or until somebody else makes this exact size on great paper. I love this little book and I'm just so happy she sent it to me to review because otherwise I may have never tried it. All right, next is Leuchtturm. Leuchtturm of any color, but I am especially fond of their metallics that were a special 100th anniversary um, editions this year. They had, they call this one the copper, even though I often accidentally call it bronze. They had copper, silver, and gold. And they are just really beautiful, all three of those colors. And um, I have several of these and use them for different things. I use one of mine for a spiritual journal. I use another one for a life book, and I have videos on that. Um, this one right now, I have um, graduated out of my khaki colored one that I was using before kind of for all my channel stuff and notes. So this is now kind of all my channel stuff and notes. And this happens to be the lined 
version because for certain things I prefer the lines. Number one, they're more widely spaced than the dots and also because I'm not a very neat person and I write neater on the lines than the dot grids. I don't love how they have the date written up there for the lined pages and they also have that for their graph pages but they do not have that for their dot grid and I wish they would take that out of their line. But I love Lloyd's Charm for their page markers, for the quality of their books, for the feel of their books, for the index. I love Lloyd's Charm just for so many reasons. And so if you are looking for just a basic journal or book, they have so many colors on Amazon for $20. The metallic ones are a little bit more, $25 or $25.50, I think. But I will try to leave links for all of the things below that I can. So you can check that out. Okay. And then we have some, some journal notebook books here. Ashley Shelley makes a notebook bestie. And since I love her little uh, monthly book that I just showed you, I wanted to highlight her notebook bestie. If you just need something lined, and I'm almost positive she makes it in dot grid also. It's the same great quality of paper. It's a little five by eight notebook that you can do anything and everything with. Really durable covers and just a great size. It also fits inside the pocket of her planner and probably fits inside the pocket of many planners. So that's a good thing to note. Then, you guys know if you follow me, I'm a huge fan of Inkwell Press journals. This was their journal from 2017, and I'm kind of missing some of their 2017 designs. But I have used these journals for so many things. In 2018, they revamped their journals, and they made them A5 size, and they made them a little bit thinner. Um... I kind of wish they offered both sizes still because sometimes you want just this tiny size, which I think is about the same size as Ashley Shelley. It's actually a little bit smaller than five by eight. And sometimes you want just this size and it's nice to have, but they don't make these anymore. So I'm going to take that out, but um, I have raved about those and I have videos on all these journals. I have videos on the Leuch germs. Um, so you can check those out in my different playlists. I have a journals playlist, so these would be under those. Okay, so this is Inkwell Press's journal from this year, 2018. They have three different cover designs. This is just one of them. One of the things I love is that pop of color when you open it up there. That's fun if you're gifting it. And then Inkwell Press is a little bit different. It is not lined or dot grid. It is graph grid and they have their 120 GSM paper, which feels amazing to write on and does an amazing job at not ghosting through at all. And on the left-hand side of the page, you have a little title box right there. I kind of wish if they're going to put that title box that it was on both sides, but I understand why it's just on one side. And that's it. Their pages are not numbered. Neither are Ashley Shelley, so it's not like the Lloyd's Charm. And you don't have an index, but you can make your own for sure. This fits in the accordion pocket of the Inkwell Press Planner perfectly. And since I happen to have that planner right here, I will just show you. The Inkwell Press Planner does not come with a lot of note pages, maybe like five at the end and like one in between each month. And so if you need something to take notes, this little journal fits perfectly in their accordion pocket. And then your planner still shuts and you can write flat. I've tried it. I've done it. It works well. They've designed it that way. The book does not bulk out or seems, or does not seem like something's pushing it out. It's like the journal was meant to be there. So I love that fact. So I love their journals for the fact that they made them. Now that they're A5 size, they can also go in all the traveler's notebooks. And there's just so much you can do with it being the size. Being a little bit slimmer, it does fit better than their journal from last year. So that is definitely one of my amazing favorite products for two years in a row now. Okay, Erin Condren, I love her spiral notebooks and her hardbound notebooks. We will do the hardbound notebook next. But this is her spiral notebook. I love them because you can change your covers with all the other covers you have from her planners. So that's fun. I love that um, 
you have some choices. You can get lined pages or productivity pages. I don't think you can get dot grid in this notebook. Um, but you can get dot grid in a hardbound notebook. I got the productivity pages for the first time in this notebook because I thought I might be wanting to use it for my daily to-do list. I might add it in the back of my monthly deluxe and use this when I run out of my monthly deluxe paper for my daily planning. And I like how you have a, you know, you have a bigger note section to write longer tasks, but if you just have some short highlighted things you want to remember or some appointments you want to remember for that day, that you have that uh, little task bar right there. But here's something to note. On the back is just a big long note page to write on. So only the front of every note page is what they call this productivity notebook choice. And then the back is lined. And she just flips through her colors. So if you needed to divide it into section by color, you could do that. But it just it just rotates through colors. And her notebooks come with stickers one page that's it and I think I have heard that if you order the lined only because it's just a gray box at the top to write your title in and her lined only notebook I think it comes with only gray stickers and not colored so that's something to note but it comes with stickers one page no pockets that is your Erin Condren spiral bound notebook here is an Erin Condren hardbound notebook I stuck one of her sticky, wait, her sticky patches that came in, these came in her spring surprise box. I just, I stuck one on there, but she has plain colored ones and then she has started making printed ones and also with motivational quotes on them. These little notebooks are such nice gifts, I think, and they're nice to use for anything. They are so slim and because they're hardback, they're easy to write in on the go. She makes them in dot grid and lined. You can throw them in your purse. They do lay open well once you massage it and just work it a little bit. Um, it's not really a problem. And you have a nice ribbon marker, which I love too. You have really pretty end pages. So if you're giving this as a gift, it, it's really nice. And I love the Erin Condren little notebooks. I've used them for so many different things. These hardbound little notebooks, they're really durable. They can take a beating and it's just, it's a great little notebook or journal, whatever you need it to be for. Grocery list on the go for everything. Okay, since we're just talking about a ton of journals, this is the Inkwell Press spiral bound, hardbound uh, notebook. This comes with a higher weight paper than her sewn journals. And I don't think I showed this well. These journals by Inkwell Press are sewn and I love that. They are beautiful. The stitching is beautiful. The way they feel and function is beautiful. You can fold them completely back and even clip them. I have done that with big binder clips and they do not fall apart. So these are highly durable and really functional. These are 120 GSM paper because you can't sew her 140 GSM paper. These are the 140 GSM paper, the same paper that is in her big spiral bound planners. And it is just luxurious to write on. Feels amazing to write on. This little journal goes through four color schemes. You have a date and a subject right here. And you have a little purpose thing you can check off on the left hand side of your page, but it rotates through four different colors. So if you needed to divide into four different sections, you have that option. It is her graph grid paper once again, but it is a little bit different from her sewn one. Her sewn one is just all gray, all gray. And this one has some blue lines to it. So it's just a little bit different. These on her site right now, I think are on sale and her new ones are exclusively only in Office Max, Office Depot stores or online with them. Her new ones are not online on Inkwell Press. I don't love that, but that's how it is. So her new covers. You have a little page to write your name if you want, and it's just, it's hardbound, so it's really portable, but it's not too big. It's really easy to write on the go. 
love these notebooks and this luxurious paper. Okay, <clears throat> you guys know I love my cover from One Star Leather Goods. I have a whole review video on this as I do pretty much everything I've talked about today. So, One Star Leather Goods makes these leather covers for Hobonichis, for Leuch germs. They make them for even Hobonichi Weeks, all different things. And he makes all different leather good products. It is an amazing, well-made product. Look, there's even a slit that you pull your Leuch germ band through so you can hook your book. Still, it is just a beautiful cover and you can choose to put your front flap in or you can choose to leave it out. I have left it out only for this reason because getting these credit card or business card pockets are extra and I wanted to get them on to be able to show you guys. But now I realize I wish I wouldn't have gotten them because if you tuck this in, then if you're writing anywhere in the front half of your book, you don't have anything hard under your pages and what happens is this bump creates a problem in your writing. So if you leave your cover out, then you have your hard cover and you don't feel that bump. So I would think about that if you're getting this for a Hobonichi or a Leuchtturm. I personally would love to tuck this in the front because it just makes it feel even better and just more enclosed. Like the leather is just fits it perfectly. But I can't tuck this in because of that bump issue. But I have a whole video on this. I love this leather cover. Feels amazing in hand and it's just beautiful. Okay, let's go into some just little things and let's talk about these sticky notes that I always talk about. Um, and by the way, I was pulling stuff out of this box. I have saved all my Emily Lay boxes through the years. Um, never throw away her boxes. They make amazing storage to store different things in. Um, I have other boxes in my closet that I have stored like programs in from my kids stuff and important cards. So her boxes make amazing storage. I love them. All right. These sticky notes I use in my planner constantly and I've had people ask about them because I've not found them in Target. This is a one and a half by two inch size. The sticky is across the top right here. It is the Post-it brand and you can get them off Amazon. You can get them in all yellow or you can get this pack. I believe there's some other bright colors and I truly wish they made this size in an all white pack for an option also or they just had some more colors. But I love these because you can cut them in half and they're the perfect size for different things. Or a lot of times I cut them into thirds. And I put them in the front dashboards of my Erin Condren planners. So they're already cut. And I just grab them off anytime I need them to mark an event that may or may not happen. That's not set in stone. So that's, I most frequently use these cut into thirds for that. And I store them already cut in the front dashboard of my Erin Condren planner. And then everybody knows whiteout tape. Um, but I love this Tombow one. I bought a big set of these off Amazon because I think it functions really well, but also it has a little cover you can pull up. So when you put it in your pen bag or if your kids need it in their pencil bag at school and middle school or high school, it gives a little protection to the end of the tape there. So that's, it's just a nice plus to this one. Okay. Since we're on these little tiny things, I am going to tell you guys, I have never used this before. Recently, I bought this scotch um, and it dispenses, it's called sticky dots, I think, because it's tiny little dots in there. I'm sorry, I'm not even under the camera, you guys. It's tiny little dots on the tape. Maybe that's why they have that there. But it is scotch um, double-sided sticky dot tape. And on Amazon, was actually cheaper than Target when I bought mine because I checked both. And I got a four pack on Amazon and I love it for sticking, you know, my little Mary Bright pictures that I cut out and stick in my Hobonichi planner. So anything like that, it just, you, it rolls on seamlessly. You guys, it's amazing. 
I have only before, I guess, I've only been old school because I'm not a big crafter. I didn't know about this stuff until I saw it on someone's Instagram. I have used the Scotch double-sided tape for years and, you know, the kind you have to take off the roll and then you have to stick it down and then you have to take off the paper backing. Oh my goodness, which is sometimes hard to get that off. This is amazing. I wish I would have brought something in here to show you. I will go get it and show you how it works. Okay, so in my Hobonichi Cousin this year, I've used it for a ton of different things, and I have videos on that. But right now, I've been cutting out some of my Mary Bright day-by-day -day pictures in her page-a-day calendar and just sticking them in here. And I've also been keeping some from my Gretchen Rubin Happier at Home calendar, only the ones that I really like. But I've been keeping most of the Mary Bright since I'm not using this Hobonichi for anything else right now. And this is how quickly this tape goes on, you guys. I just do a teeny little bit in each corner. I mean, this is like magic to me after what I've been using. And then that's it. It's on there. And you just stick it down. And it's so thin, you don't even feel it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, look for that. It will change your life if you don't know about it. And I'm probably like the last planner person on the planet to find out about it, but I'm sure you guys all know about it. All right. This is the Polaroid Zip printer. If you follow me, you know I keep a picture photo journal and an Erin Condren horizontal planner this year. Well, it's an 18-month planner, so I've been doing it already for almost a year, but this printer has worked great. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, although I will say this, their app, um, they revamped it and you would think that it would make it easier to use, but it's actually harder to use for me because I like to, this is the size of the paper. Let me show you. Your paper is this size and for the photo journal, I like to put two pictures on it sometimes and cut it in half. It comes with sticky backing on it, so you just take it off, comes off really easily and you stick it down in a journal or a planner. Your ink is in the paper, so you're never buying ink for this printer. But their app does not make it easy to do your pictures two per page. It's just, it's not simple. So I wish they would fix that. Um, I have heard the HP Sprocket might have better color than this, than the Polaroid Zip. So I would check out that too if you are, you know, looking. I would definitely research them all. Because yes, the color is a little bit off in this. You need to add brightness or light to your picture before you print in here. There are some great comparison videos out there, I think, between this and the Sprocket and the other little printers. So check it out before you decide which one to buy. But to have one of these portable little pic picture printers is amazing. If your kids just want to print out a picture real quick to send in a card to their grandparents, there you go. Okay, I wanted to show this so you guys wouldn't be confused if you haven't seen my other videos. This is the Erin Condren Horizontal Neutral Planner. This is her 18 month that started in July of 2017 and goes all the way through 2018. And I am photo journaling in here for this 18 month period. It's not something I will keep up forever. It's something I just wanted to try for this 18 months because my sister had been doing it and she kind of motivated me to do it. And I think she first got her idea from Jen at um, Pretty Neat Living. So I have several videos all about this if you want to see more. But that's what I'm talking about when I talk about these pictures. This size that fits in the box perfectly for a picture a day is when you have to cut the page in half. And that's what I'm saying. It's hard to get your pictures done that way. So I didn't keep up with doing a picture a day. That got to be really challenging. Now I just do a couple pictures a week. And I do them bigger a lot of times for like the whole sheet because like I said, it is challenging to get them to go smaller. And when you get frustrated in a process, I mean, it makes you not want to journal. <laughs> so that's why I decided not to stress about a picture a day to just print whatever pictures, you know, I got that week. And if I had time to make them small and work that way, then I would. And if I didn't have time, then I would just print them bigger and not every day has a picture. And I am totally okay with that. Some weeks, you know, I barely squeaked one picture in there that week. But 
I really want to try to keep it going through the 18 months of this planner. And I won't lie, it's not easy. This has probably been the hardest journal I've ever done to keep up with. But I think it's going to be a really fun memento to have. And I think that all the work will be worth it in the end. I, I'm already enjoying when I look back through it because it's just different than chapbooks. It has my handwriting in it and it's just a little bit more personal. And it's fun to be able to print out a picture just right then when an event is happening. So that's what that's all about. And I have several videos on that if you want to know and see more about it. But that is one of my favorite products. Some pen holders. We're not going to talk about pens in this video. I have a whole video already on favorite pens. And since then, yeah, maybe I've changed a little bit on my favorite pens. But I do have a favorite pens video, and I might do a update on that soon. But these cases off Amazon are one of my favorite ever cases. My sister introduced me to them. So I can keep my Tombow in here, my sticky notes in here. I find that I can't grab my pens as fast when they're in here. Um, and I just, I prefer not to use that right now, but... I keep all my go-to pens and the colors of highlighters or pens that I'm using that month in this one. And I always keep my little, this is another favorite supply from Amazon Westcott six inch tiny thin ruler. Love, absolutely love these. Totally worth it to have several of those around in different pen holders and around the house. But so I keep kind of my go-to basic pens in here. This case has all my Papermate flares. So those are separated. Like I said, I will as long as I can find them on Amazon, I will link them down below. They come in a couple different floral options. Just the feel of them. I just absolutely love them. I don't want to forget to tell you about sometimes you find really amazing pen pouches at Target for like three, you know, to four dollars, especially at back to school time. If you look then I found this one at back to school time last year and I just loved the navy blue space theme. The little orange thrown in there is cool too. So I just love the look of it and I love how it has a separate pocket up front, which I haven't used for anything yet. And I love how it has this tab to grab it by. And right now, just all my Stadler markers are in here. Uh, but I love this bag. It's really big. You could fit a lot in here because those markers only take up like half the space. So don't leave out looking at Target for pen and pencil pouches because you can find some great ones there. Even when it's not back to school time, you can find some great ones there. This is another one at Target that I didn't even find at back to school time. And unfortunately, it didn't come in a boy color, but my nine-year-old son didn't even care because he likes the function of it. So this is the only color that I found it in, but it's the UB brand at Target, and it was $4, and I just got this one recently. And so it unzips and completely opens and will sit there, like facing you on the table, so you can see all your pens and supplies in there. So I love how that one will sit and not roll and be open and so you can see and grab your stuff really easily. I love how it closes just so quick and easily for students and kids like that. And it has this to hold it by. So it's a really, you know, cool design too. This one is not as pretty but really functional also. They have come out with some more different colors in this one. This one's from Amazon also, also, and I will link it down below. It's designed for arrangement, but they have some pockets on front I've never stuck anything in, but you could stick some sticky notes in there. Mainly, you can lay out and see all your colors and really easily get them in and out quickly. Things slide in and out of here really easily. These are mild liners from Amazon just a more mild color than a highlighter, than the bright fluorescence. And those are dual tip, I really love those. But also something fun is you can stick pens back here. I've done that, I've loaded this down with pens. I have another ruler, sticky notes can go in here. 
This one's not really loaded down right now, but it can hold a lot and it is really designed well and really useful. Seems like it will hold up well. If anyone has college age kids that need to have pen cases and their backpacks, I would recommend both of these highly. I would have loved to have one of these in college. I mean, Amazon wasn't even around when I was in college. Uh, so I'm always thinking back on all the planning and like pen supplies I have now. And I just know I would have loved them in college. Even in high school, if your kids are allowed to carry around a backpack, which um, I know many high schools are not, but if they are, they can throw one of these in there. And there are options for guys too. In middle school, my son actually uses a, um, a thinner one of these, longer for pencils. Uh, well, he doesn't carry only pencils in it, but it's just, it's a longer case and designed to be able to hold pencils. It's like half the size of this and longer, and it's by the same company. And my son has carried that around all year in middle school and black and has worked great. So those are just some of my favorites. I am sure, well, in fact, I know I have left stuff out. But those are my, some of my favorite, you know, planning accessories, journaling accessories, and supplies. I hope that this helped introduce you to something maybe new and useful. And thanks for watching. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.